Chat! Hello! Good evening. Good night. All that biz. I should come up with a um, starting soon screen playlist. That would be very smart. Like uh, Lily and uh, Brovec and Marshy have. But I have no idea what's like not going to get me shot down on Twitch. I love Twitch crashing than being attacked by an ad. <laughs> hey, every single ad you watch is two cents. Two whole cents. Or something like that. I don't remember. Paper cuts do indeed suck. Yikes, yeah. Because they're such tiny itty bitty cuts and they're so inconvenient. Hello everyone. Hello Dragon, Ori, and Dakitis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys had a good day today. Good nights, wherever you are. Dragon, I hope you feel better soon. And yes, we do have our uh, our links. I finally got them working. It is the Rex Victory, the one and only. Not not some off brand, not some second rate. The one and only Rex Fitter. Ugh, I'm glad to be back, guys. Ugh, sorry I wasn't home yesterday, but I am home today and for the foreseeable future until I make other plans. <laughs> or something gets sprung on me. Who knows? But yeah. Boop. Just clicking buttons. All right. I don't really have much I want to talk about going into this. Uh, I don't think there was anything. Yo, Flame, what's up? Corey Akiro, hello. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I particularly want to talk about. My my day was kind of just very streamlined. I was helping Candy with Mythos. Other than that, um, I ate some fettuccine Alfredo today for dinner, so that was kind of fun. But aside from that, I didn't really do all too much. So we can just jump straight into it. Whatcha? The live scene thing that's going to start lagging. I'm going full screen in Minecraft. Can I get my name across? Nope, the name didn't last. It's so sad how it like lags sometimes so you can't catch all of it. But yeah, we're here. I'm back in our house. Is the sun rising or setting? I can't tell. There are stars. Are the stars going away? They're going away. It, the sun is rising. Yeah, the sun's rising. Sweet! Is Lucy still? No, she's not. Great, we can actually get in here and look at all of our fucking stuff. So we do need to figure out what to do with it at some point. We've got way too much armor to just leave sitting in a chest. I hate Alfredo. No, I love Alfredo. Job today. Yes, indeed, we do have that job today. Thank you for reminding me that we should go ahead and grab that book wherever it is. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I disabled the thing at the top of my screen. Um, because I hate it. So now we have to check these shelves. There it is. And we've read it all already last stream. Um, you can always go check out the VOD if you want to catch up on it. I pretty much just a breakdown. It seems to be some type of, like, mystery novel. Um, yeah, Murder on the Ironstone Express. The prologue pretty much talked about, um, this police captain who turned out to be corrupt. And we get introduced to the main character of the book, whose name, I believe, is... I think it's on the next page. Telfold was just the corrupt captain. I don't think he's too relevant to the story. John Coggs is the protagonist of our tale. He is our our alter ego steampunk version of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> What's your job in Terramos again? Um, sometimes I work in the casino on busy nights, but other times I work in the bookstore doing bookie thingies. You know, as it be. There's this, and it looks like uh, John Cox is a friend named Christine Wayridge. Uh, those two are probably some kind of dynamic duo. I'm curious to see what happens in future chapters, but right now all we have is just like clockwork. This was the first one that came in. We got to read the book early before it was even put out in the store or on any of the shelves, so we got an exclusive sneak peek. Hello, Starlight! Welcome! Chat slowly accumulating. It's gaining traction. We still got our steak fajitas. We are down one because we gave one to that angel. Um, speaking of which, I just reminded myself, which means we should probably go ahead and do it as well. Uh, we do have the money. Let's go grab a cupcake for her. What flavor do you guys think an angel would like? Should we go just default vanilla? Let's see, Roz isn't back. She's probably out. Should we go default vanilla? Should we go red velvet? Should we go chocolate? What are we thinking? Chocolate? I right, flame. We'll go with your intuition. You can't go wrong with chocolate. There's the Foria Guild Hall. Not too important. That was nice of Northstar to help us out yesterday. In case you missed it, chat, we were able to rescue Zoe. 
in fact, we should mind just go check on her. She probably is still asleep, but it's worth checking on her. He rescued Zoe from that one person who's in prison, so we can go check on them too. Uh, just, you know, to see what they know about the strange La Rumac, um trades that sold them that dagger that, you know, had my blood on it, just casually. Cat Flynn saved somewhat. Yeah, she just needs to feel a little better, but she is good. I'm gonna guess she never had chocolate, so why not give it to her? Yeah, I have no idea what kind of food they eat up in the sky. You think they got chocolate in the sky? Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, Zoe was upstairs and she was like in the back left corner. Yeah, there she is. Still asleep. It's okay. She'll feel better soon, hopefully. I can't find my void. No, cat, no! I'm like looking at chat and I can't walk. <laughs> Haven't seen you do the library job. We're gonna get over there and do it. BRB, my Wi Fi is shit. Alright, that's it, huh? Uh, but yeah. We went into the sewers. We were able to rescue them thanks to the help of North Star. Percy came with us. We to navigate the sewers thanks to his help. Uh, we probably wouldn't be able to take out all those monsters without him because we are severely under equipped. Um, but at the end of the day, he split off from us when we went to go deal with um, that one individual that did abduct Zoe. We kicked his teeth in, um, and then we were able to get Zoe on out of there. Rex is cute as hell, I agree. God damn it, Cam and Cat. This was a coordinated assault, I can tell. Hydrate? We can do that. <sighs> Delicious. Rex is cute for sure. Damn it, Sin. <laughs> it actually wasn't. Damn. It was so well timed, though. Alright, so, yeah, the manholes that have just appeared in the city now. I will platonically second that. Goddamn. Just feeding into this ego of mine. <laughs> so, if I were a prison, where would I be? We can look at our map. There's something up here. Well, let's go back and check that out, actually, chat. Because there is definitely something all the way back there. It looks like East Haven's still expanding as we're just living in it, which is pretty cool. It's a very nice city. Um, if only it was like less like likely to crash me, that'd be cool. But it is a very nice city. There is a staircase down there. I never used that one, so let's go ahead and use it. I always walk across this upper boardwalk area. Ha ha ha, hello, what have I missed? Nothing much, Freddy. Just catching up uh, everyone on what happened in the last stream. What have I missed, River? Nothing too much yet. We're going to go to the bookstore for our job. I broke down what just like clockwork. Uh, if you want to see me actually recount the entire story, um, it is in my last VOD. I also read a couple of other books that were good and interesting reads. Um, for now, we're going to go check out this area. I did not read that sign. I think I stared at it, but I didn't read it. Chat, I just spaced out because I was talking. Beach! <laughs> Callum Rex, shut up. I hope you guys have seen the Twitter. That was a very funny post. <laughs> Damn, there's an actual whole ass beach down here. Now this is where a real party should be thrown. The Seashell Drinks Bar. I wonder who runs this. It's a very cute place. Man, this is actually a really cute place, huh? Look at this, look at this little beach. And you got a, a what is this, a diving rock? It is a diving rock, look at that. If you slip though, you're fucked, but it is a diving rock. Unfortunately, there isn't much of a beach that gently leads out into the ocean. It looks like a straight drop off, but that's okay. You just go straight into the deep water, why not? And, um, oh yikes, that's not very appealing. <laughs> uh, tragic. Well, you can just jump across here, just swim across this part of the ocean. And just walk up these stairs easily. Wait, what if Rex is bug? Am I bug? Question mark? Clusiox Rex theory. Knock it off. There was no date. Thank you, cat. Finally, someone. Jesus. 
So let's head out across here. And let's get to the other half of the city. Because you know this half, like the back of our hand. Our job is actually on the other half. We still need to go grab that cupcake from the bakery. We didn't actually find out where the prison was. This was new. What else is new? Th no, this is the Noble District. This is definitely the mines. It's gotta be this, right? We can go check it out. Just swing by the apartments anyway. Rex, I have a question for you. Why did you think Pierce reached out to you? Pierce reached out to me. When? 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 It has to jog my memory. Hugo. Hugo? Are we saying Hugo is Pierce? This is news to me. Whoa. No. Oh, you think Pierce sent Hugo. Did he say that? Man. I barely remember anything about that bird. I just barred that bird from my memory because I hate him. <laughs> Lagging through the city. Don't worry, chat. We're just loading in a bunch of chunks with a bunch of people in it. Unfortunately, we aren't suffering from memory leaks yet, but I didn't restart my Minecraft just before the stream like a dumbass, so it could happen. Anyway, let's grab a cupcake. Chocolate uh, is what Flame said would probably be best. There is a chocolate cupcake. All right, six silver. Sweet. So if we decide to go pay a visit today, we can go bring them a chocolate cupcake. Peanut butter cupcake. Fun fact chat, I hate peanut butter. I used to be allergic to it when I was younger. I outgrew that allergy, but I still just do not like peanut butter. There we go. We've got a cupcake. Let's go check out this half of the city. Uh, please, North Star, don't break me. North Star, I'm watching you. Let's go check out that building all the way in the back. Oh, damn. They're actually building up some of these other buildings, too, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, this one's head's on, like, a 180 degree looking back at this one. There. <laughs> What's this? Oh, electric stuff. We got a little, like, electrician right here. Oh, man, look at that. It's a crane. Oh, my God, they're manual. They're operating a crane, chat. You can always remember that Hugo lit himself on fire. Oh, yeah, because Hugo's a phoenix. It's very cute. That's actually very cute that they're building up this entire area like that. Bro, these builders be having fun though, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> it's really fucking cute. Man, this place is actually getting built up though. That's very exciting. Who knows what kind of content's going to come in soon. Chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it's got to be here, huh? It doesn't really have a sign on it, but yeah, this definitely looks like the place. And there's that one guy. If there's anyone upstairs. Huh. The tired looking guard walks around the room, writing on a clipboard, it seems. It would note you as you enter. Oh, hey. Need something? I'm here to visit a prisoner. Knock yourself out. Just don't let them escape too easily and uh, don't lock yourself in. Yeah, I'll try. It's very sad that you need to specify for people not to lock themselves in. Because that implies that they've done it before. Okay, it doesn't look like he's going to try to make a break for it. That's good. You. The young man sits in the cell with an ashamed look on his face. His arm, the one that once held the vile dagger, looks quite familiar with the dark purple veins moving up from his wrist to his elbow. He sighs sadly, rubbing his arm and huddling in a small corner. Hey, you. He glances back at you as you approach. His eyes narrow and he glares. You. Yeah, well, you're going to answer some questions for me. He turns his back to you and tisks. 
Why did you do this? Why did you do any of this? Have you ever loved? Hmm? Have you ever just felt the most undying affection for someone? I knew she would have felt the same way. She just needed some inspiration. She needed to see me for who I was. And then she was bound to... What am I even saying? Th 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 that isn't right. I, I just thought she was pretty. I, I just wanted to take her out to the bakery or something. I just... Huh. That's suspicious. What about Lama Larimac Trades? There's a man... Outside the walls, he had so many things with him. He had knives and weapons unlike anything I'd seen. And they were at a reasonable price, too. He told me that they were relics from ancient times. And that they were sure to fulfill my wishes. I, I thought I could use it to... To impress her. What do you know about the Alacrim Edict? Never heard of that. Fine, that's it. No one in here, Raz, nor this man, and I highly doubt even the guard, seem to know about the Alacrim Edict. I was thinking the same thing, Flame. It is an anagram. But they shouldn't be in Teramos. They're in Mythos. Nobody even knows about them here, so why- why- Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's just a fluke. Probably just a cultist trying to stir trouble. That's it. It's a coincidence and nothing less- nothing more than that. It's just a coincidence. Larimac trades. <laughs> Should have seen it sooner. Great. Oh. I guess North Star is doing something. Alright, let's go check by the bookstore. He had a feeling. Wait, wait. They have been there. Mir said so himself. He said Wolf never loses to the slot machines. Yeah, but that's Wolf, yeah? And Mirror? Is that indicative of the edict? I don't know. Does the edict pull really stretch out here? There's no way. I've never heard anything about this. Rowan led them there by portal. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Well then. Here. We'll just... Ignore that feeling for now. For the time being. This vending machine work? Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, looks like everyone is around in here. Hmm. Oh, there, Karina. Come on, where are they? Is there something wrong? Someone ate all of the strawberry chocolate fudge to light piggy cupcakes. I got those all special from Olden and someone ate them all. This is a tragedy. Who would do such a thing? Maybe it was someone with a death wish, cause I'll kill them. Okay, okay. Um, note to self, chat. Someone make note of that. Ooh, did never eat their cupcakes. Okay. Hello, Draco. Hmm. The young man stares at the board, hand over his chin as he thinks. Jobs are still coming in at a steady rate. There could be more. He looks like a lot to me. As per usual, he doesn't seem surprised at your appearance, despite how deep in thought he was. Most of them are pretty small. The world's been quiet, which isn't the worst thing. 
It definitely doesn't make our job nearly as interesting, if you know what I mean. I get it, yeah. Rex was your name, right? Yeah. Have you ever been part of a guild? Yeah, you could say that. Hmm, thought so. He glances at you with an unreadable gaze. Let's just say you have that kind of look. The kind of look I had when I first founded North Star. Before you get the wrong idea, that's only half good. Yeah? He smooths his hair back and puts his hands in his pockets. Well, food for thought. I'm sure I'll see you around, Rex. For now, I have some other business to attend to. Leave him to it, then. Why is Karina me after baking something awesome and someone eating almost all? It's like the other day when I was hanging out with a bunch of people. We got a Taco Bell party pack that has 12 tacos in it, chat. All right? There was five of us. All right, well, go ahead and off two because they bought us. They didn't eat any of that. There were two other people, and there was me. Three people for, like, a bunch of, for tacos, right? There are 12 of them. You'd think that it would get broken up in, like, you know, like a 4-4-4 four, four, four split or something like that. No. Nah. No. Nah. I ate seven. I ate seven of them. One of them ate two, one of them ate three. I ate seven. Seven. <laughs> uh, yo, what happened to the guy? Him? I'm gonna assume it has something to do with the dagger. Which I hope it was the dagger and not my blood, but the dagger already seems pretty sinister in nature. The ritualist dagger. I wasn't able to watch the VOD, but was the help from Percy paid for? Was it? No. <laughs> they haven't asked for money, so... Hello there, you two. What do you have to say? And the individual sits, staring at Cassie. Now, Vega, dear, I need you to do me a small favor, all right? Can you do that for me? When Vega doesn't respond, she huffs in irritation. Of course you won't. You only listen to Draco, don't you? Fine. Rex, how are you not dead? Define. Seven tacos? Because I am unstoppable. I consume all like a black hole. So I would recommend looking around for portals. We've been outside the city. There's probably not any inside the city. Besides, the Alacrum Edict doesn't always use nether portals. That felt like a Lamia thing. They're more prone to using crimson ones. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. Percy. Yeah! Take that, you whatever evil monster you're supposed to represent! Percy is training against the dummy, attacking it with all his might. You start to feel bad for the dummy. It's taking quite the beating. AX, lever, let me be on the receiving end of that sword. <laughs> Where's the uh, green haired one? He's probably upstairs. Let's check his room. Atlas, right? Karina, she's downstairs. We can snoop. What am I saying? She has a very pretty room. Like, an extremely pretty room. I really like how this room looks. Uh, so that's Karina. What about Atlas? Oh, Atlas isn't in his room. Okay, well, he has a very basic room. Um, opposingly. It's just a dead end of a hallway. You know, if there's a great slot for a vending machine there. Candy. So let's keep going. Yeah, this one's pretty bland, too. That's that weird kid. This is the one where that chick did something. But nice vanity, I guess. Let's see. Percy's. Oh, man. Man, nice swords, Purse. Damn. Anyway. So there's that. And then Draco's in the very back. Honestly, not as impressive as I thought it would be. Figured it'd be huge, but that's okay. Is it cutting out? Is it just Wi-Fi or is it me? Because if it's me, I can look at it. But if it's not, then fuck Twitch. <laughs> We are all just suffering. Okay, okay, that's fine then. Hmm. Well, there's North Star dealt with. Pretty cool individuals. 
Very intriguing. You know, I would not mind recruiting them. <laughs> but they have their own thing going on. <sighs> Still, an alliance of source could always be, you know, interesting. But they seem like the most powerful in the city, so I'm not sure who else I could possibly network with, you know? A nice bakery, though. Very pretty. Uh, swords that actually sit right and don't levitate. Yeah, actually, fun fact. Um, out of character. We can go ahead and run over there, I guess. Out of character, I parked my ass there and I swapped out that sword because it was bothering me. I was sick of the levitating one, so I exchanged it for a different sword. Lamo, <laughs> nice cat. <laughs> Welcome back, River. Go to work, dummy. Give me a second. Shake my damn head. I right, fine. We'll just go to work. <laughs> Since you know, I don't want to have to walk all the way across the city and then walk all the way back. <sighs> Poor Zoe. She shouldn't stay in the city. Maybe when she wakes up, we can try to help her out. Hi, back. <laughs> the dad jokes, yes. We still have our cupcake, right? Yeah, we do. Let's put that in the other corner. I did want to go look at the dagger. We'll do that later. Which one is the bookstore? I remember it's cl it's the one closest to the casino. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, because it's a big building. Bonk, bonk. A uh, big stretch chat. When Rex doesn't want to get paid, shake my head. Uh! Okay. Here we are. Front desk closed. Book club upstairs. We can do that, but I never got to talk to these people. Hello there, pickle. Oh, why does opening a business have to be so difficult? All these books say I gotta get permits and do taxes and stuff. Gross! I don't even know what those words mean! I just want to sell ice cream! <laughs> Damn. You've got, uh, very... you got splotches, huh? Are they... are you a dread? I've never seen a dread with splotches. Huh. Interesting. Maybe... maybe she's a dragon dread, chat. She's got the tail. Anyway, hello there, you. He looks like a normal dread. I don't have a tail. Why does he get a tail? Why does he get a tail? Anyway. Ooh, books and mythos are all so cute. I like these books the most. This one is about an ugly squidling that didn't get along with the other squidlings because he was actually a mermaid. And then he found his family and lived happily. And this one is about a cat that was actually a handsome prince under a curse. The dread is showing you a stack of picture books for small children. Okay. Well, I suppose um, what Lamia may have said could be true about some dreads. <laughs> so after a job, we gamble our souls away, sure. I wonder, I left a theory about Ordo being multiple people and then being a ghost and possessing people. Huh. I'm not sure which ghosts are capable of possession, though. We haven't really ever seen a ghost possess someone before. So I'm not sure if it has to be a different type, like a special type of spirit, like an echo or something, but. After an interrex. Well, this has become a stare down, hasn't it? And we can stop here. Ah. Uh. Well, that was a Christmas plan, I guess. Run, you already have money, just go. <laughs> Is that your stream chat? <laughs> <laughs>
That's pretty good, Ripper. Ah! Oh my god. Come on, we can't be that surprising. Why? Why can't we be surprising, or why are we here? It is impossible for any living player on this goddamn server to leave me alone for a day. A day. It just, like, no matter what. I, I learned to tolerate Marshy's presence, okay? Because she just kept showing up. But everyone else, consistently, every day, just repetitively, I wake up, I go about my business, and once you assholes found out where I am, it's all you ever do. What? What's, what... What's so entertaining about being around me? Do you like tormenting me? Or you just wake up in the morning and you go, Hey, there's this fucking Rex guy. Let's just go out of our way to inconvenience him at every possible turn. You know, every single personal thing that he does that, you know, he kind of tries to keep private. Let's figure what out what that is and then intrude on that. Just butt our way in there. Just bother him at every possible turn. So he thinks we're tormenting him. Okay, okay, you can think that we're tormenting you, but we work here too, by the way. <laughs> You're the enemy protagonist. I literally found out yesterday that you worked here. Same. <sighs> I wish I would have found out, because then I would have quit. But now it's too late. Is it really that bad? I hate you. Yes, I'm aware, but you can't- we can't just ignore each other, go about our work, you know, be professionals. I hate you. Okay, so apparently that means you cannot be professional in my presence. Ay, ay, ay. Even after everything that's happened, you still dread her appearance. Yes. Okay, I understand that. I truly do. But whether you like it or not... They're working here, we're working together, and honestly, I think now is not the time to even engage in any arguments, fights, or anything, because Josiah wouldn't appreciate that. That's clubs and books. Well, that's a start. Yeah, we should probably go talk to Josiah, actually. Yeah, we can do that. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it. Okay. Hello there. I'm glad you can make it to this meeting. Please feel free to help yourself to cupcakes and discussions with like-minded individuals. Today we will be discussing the prologue to the new and upcoming mystery novel, Just Like Clockwork. Is this like some fucking psychological experiment? Do you guys not like pick options? <laughs> yeah, we've already we've been here. We've we've been doing our work. So this you've is been here. Happy. You've been through all of these dialogues. Yes. Then shoo. Yeah. Why are you still here then? Because we we haven't quite finished everything yet. We just did those dialogues. This one with Josiah. Yes. Okay. We also talked to pretty much everyone, but you know. If you talk to everyone, why are you here? Because we have to tell Josiah we finished? Then you finished. Shoo. Okay. Well, let's get this over. Alright. What other books do you have? Oh, yeah. Hey, he does sell this now. We already got this one. We got that one. Did we get this one? Yeah, we got that one. We got all of these. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's motherfucking clock in. Ah! Just on time! Today should be a relatively simple work day for you. I want you to simply mingle and lead discussions with other members of the book club. If your communication is satisfactory to me, then you will be paid your wage, you will be free to go. It's as simple as that. It can do. Can do. Alrighty. And now we go around. Hello there, Lenore. Familiar snake wound would be in the middle of informing Josiah of something seemingly important. When she notices you approach, she would hiss a bit with her serpentile tongue and remain silent. Our discussion does not include you. Now, if you do not mind, 
uh, I work here. What did you think of the book? It was satisfactory. Now, please, I have subjects of significance to discuss with Josiah, and I would appreciate if you leave. Her forked tongue flicks out again as her goggled eyes narrow at you, almost shunning you away. All right, okay, I see where Lamia gets it from. We get where Lamia gets it from. Welcome back to Kittis. Do I know this one? I know this one. I've seen her before. The bank! Yeah, the bank. The familiar gray-eyed girl stands in her own corner of the room, reading through the book. She'd have the same indifferent expression on her face as she usually does. Is this young woman really a royal? So, what'd you think of the new book? She glances up at you, her eyes narrowing. Are you new or an employee? Huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Individuals who are new to this establishment are quite aware of my identity and therefore do not make it a habit to speak with me on such casual terms. Granted, those who are unaware of who I am may not be as wise and therefore make errors in communicating with me. However, employees would feel an obligation to speak with me, given that communication with customers or club members is most certainly in the job description, seeing as how the ability to seem personable would be a trait that most jobs ask for. So, which is it? Are you new or an employee? An employee. Hmm. <laughs> she looks back down at the book, flipping through the pages. Rather little to take from it. Additionally, the diction and syntax utilized are rather elementary. Naturally, I have read more impressive works of literature, including the notoriously dull works of non-fiction that most people would avoid sticking their nose into. Were I to have more information on the cast of players on this train the protagonist shall, bro shall board, I am rather certain I would be able to predict the ending. As it stands now, I suppose their written methods of entrapment are complex enough to be above average. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that opinion of mine shall be enough for you to pay your check. For your paycheck. <laughs> it sounded less like an opinion and more like a lecture. God damn. <laughs> Alright, well that one's definitely a piece of work. How about you, Brooke? The girl is heavily distracted by the new book. She's reading with such an intense gaze, her eyes digging in every detail on the page. She seems quite focused. Now that you think about it, wasn't this the same girl that always read a book in the market square? Does she do anything but read? It's as though every time you see her, her nose is in a book and she doesn't notice you. Too distracted in her own world. She must really like books. Yeah, goddamn. Okay, we will move on. What a book club. Hello there, Elena. This will be the third time we've met. The young dread girl smiles as she flips to the pages of the new book. What an enjoyable read. I can't wait for the next chapter. So I'm gonna take that you enjoyed it? Oh, yes! Mystery novels or dramas have always had a special place in my heart. I'm quite the fan of this author as well, and I'm excited to see what else the novel has in store for us readers. I'm actually quite familiar with the characters as well. This is, after all, not the first work the author has written using these characters. They've been favorites of mine ever since I was a young girl in Dramos. You definitely know a lot. Oh, I don't know if I would put it that way. I am merely quite enthused about works such as this, you could say. <laughs> I do not believe I've seen you in previous meetings. Are you a new member of the club, or are you one of Josiah's new employees? I'm an employee. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. My name's Elena. Uh, I'm certain you shall see more of me if you remain at this establishment. I'm a quite common customer of Josiah's. I've always loved books, and I use the library as an additional way for me to learn more about Mythos' culture and peoples. I believe I shall get along quite well. I look forward to seeing you around more often. You too. So she's interested in Mythos. We're in Terramos right now. Huh. Wonder why. I don't like her. That, uh, the red-haired? Yes. <laughs> Out here giving a whole dang presentation. Hello there. The man places down the book, taking a cupcake from one of the nearby plates satisfied. My! What a stupendous introduction to a novel! The author has truly outdone themselves this time, have they not? So you enjoyed the book. Absolutely! 100%! A phenomenal beginning to something that will end just as wonderfully! The humor, the plot twist, the exposition, all of it was written rather splendidly, if I do say so myself. Say, I don't believe I've encountered you in a club meeting. It is a pleasure to have a new member in our ranks. My name is Somba, and who might you be? I work here. Name's Rex. Ah, yes, yes, of course! I should have anticipated such. So nice to see people such as ourselves showing interest in the humble Haystaven bookstore. Although it may not be as regal, every job has some level of significance and importance in this world, wouldn't you agree? I myself actually work a rather important job in East Haven. 
I suppose you could say that I'm a learned man, and I am fascinated by artifacts from the past. History has so many secrets to be revealed, and the only hints we have in such ancient works of art. Do you understand what I mean? I guess I do. I knew it! I could tell by that glimmer in your eyes that you're a learned person just like me. How wonderful to meet another individual just as interested in the knowledge of the past. Well, you could say that my fascination led me to a rather regal career with many royal families. My years of work allowed me to the capability to identify various time periods and utilizations of numerous historical pieces or works. You would not believe how many ancient treasures the royal families hold with them. Huh. That's actually interesting. So you can identify ancient artifacts. Indeed, indeed! So you can imagine how absolutely devastated I was upon learning of the thievery. What a tragedy! To have such an irreplaceable dagger as the Blade of Carnage to be stolen by the Menace Corps. I cannot tell whether they are knowledgeable as scholar as I am to understand the powers of such a weapon, or if they are merely a seller who is attempting to pawn it off for a far too low a price. Oh, the humanity of such a thing to happen! That dagger was one of a kind. All we can hope for now is that it is returned safely. What does it do? Sombra would open his mouth to explain, seemingly excited to have someone speak with about these things before Josiah would interrupt. Uh, Somber, I uh, was just informed by one of the lieutenants that your sister has- Oh dear God, I had completely forgotten! I cannot leave her without a chaperone as long as I already have! It was a pleasure speaking with you, but I'm afraid I must be going now! He, smud he smuggles a couple of cupcakes into a small bag before departing. See you? <laughs> I love him. I adore him. Let us get a drink. I love that character chat. <laughs> Candy, you do an amazing scripting for NPCs. She truly does. Love Candy. And here's Atlas. Huh. Hey, Atlas. The young North Star member sits alone in the corner, enjoying his book quietly to himself. He would eat a cupcake delicately as he reads, ensuring he does not make a mess. Are you enjoying the book? He jumps, alarmed. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be so jumpy. You just startled me. Um, yes, I like the book. He looks down awkwardly. It seems social skills are not his forte. You okay, Atlas? I I'm fine. I I'm always like this. <laughs> I I'm sorry for being jumpy. I, I swear, it's not your fault at all. It's all my fault. <laughs> okay. It's the bean. It is the bean. Alright, I think we're done here. That should be everyone. What an interesting group of people. Anyway, thank you, Josiah. Well, you completed your assignment? Yeah, just finished talking to everyone. Wonderful. Here's your payment for the day, then. Thank you for the attendance. Thank you for your attendance to the meeting. I'll see you for your next shift, then. You're free to go. Thanks. You've succeeded in your shift, Pog! 15 gold. Not bad, but also kind of chump change at this point. But you know what? I kind of enjoy this. I like these, um... Some of these people are actually interesting. And, you know, networking is always a good way to network. Plus, we need breaks every now and then. This is just a way to alleviate that. Even though not everyone is really the best. It's okay. Well, I mean, she isn't objectively mean. She did have something important to talk about, but still. I know she just does not like me. I guess she doesn't like anyone. But I'm gonna assume I know where she gets that from. But she definitely doesn't like me, actually, because I know Lamia. <sighs> Holy shit, God is just saying no to see Rex's streams. It keeps lagging out. I have to go. It's okay, Freddy. This VOD will always be here. Rex, I'm deaf and please. Ah. Fine. Fine. Shit. Okay, so that's um lagging. That's that. Screw you, Candy. Did you message me in game? No, you didn't. Thought about chat messaging me in chat before you messaged me in game. <laughs> well. Okay. Now we will gamble. So what do we want to gamble? 
We want to gamble at that machine. We'll do it once, chat. We'll just do it once. Just quickly go ahead and get this over and done with. Rip it off like a band-aid. Bang. Because one of these should be enough to tie me over for a bit. Bang. Give me the good. Why does this always happen? <laughs> you know what? I do think we did utilize all of our luck whenever we fucking... Uh... Whenever we got that jackpot. So, you know what? This is fair. I didn't even want anything of importance. I mean, who would've? You know? We don't need this shit. Just get this out. We can just chill there. Well, that's good. That's out of the way. Look at that. Let's take a drink of agua. <sighs> Joke's on it. We can make stuff out of string. Yeah, so we always win! <laughs> but we don't need that string. We're rich anyway. Besides, killing spiders aren't like... It's not a difficult thing to do at all. Howdy, Vernon. I wonder... Is anyone upstairs? Hi, Rex. Hello, Ven. We can just quickly run around. There's this cool balcony. We never got to use it before. Maybe we should come here sometimes when we want to take a break. It doesn't look like there's anyone upstairs. We don't have keys to any of these places except for this one, but my key is in my bag. So we'll just head out. I've come here to stock the stream. Stock it. Fuck, I can't open doors at all. Jokes on it, we made this at a stream. Hi Rex, I've come here to talk to the stream. Hello Van Hide Wagon. Where is Cat or Marshy when you need them, right? Marshy's not even online. Cat's a ghost, so she can't even like get here unless someone brings her here with us. It sucks. I should actually do research on her situation. Because the fact that she can hold those mana coins could reveal a great deal about her behavior. Rex, did you know your emote has ascended? <laughs> now I do. Damn. If we can just figure out how to infuse something with mana. Well, even then. If she were to like go invisible, you'd still be able to see them. So we'd need to do some tinkering. Maybe a specific type of cloth. Mana infused, but then have another property as well. If ghosts can control their visibility, maybe mixing something like alchemy in with it, that can control invisibility, then infusing it with an invisibility potion that could yield positive results. If we infuse invisibility into a mana-infused cloth and then fashion something out of enchanted fabric, that's it! If we make enchanted fabric, and then we can form um, some gloves out of it, maybe. I'm going to have to test that. That's interesting. If that's the case, correct me if I'm wrong. If I make a gauntlet, instead of using leather, and I use enchanted fabric... We'll have to try that, then. When we can get our hands on some enchanted fabric, of course we can't do that in East Haven until we get our our citizenship application, whatever the fuck, approved. Raz is still out. Then we can get a, a gauntlet. We can create it. Um, we can make enchanted fabric and then Thaumium gauntlet? Hold on. Let's check that. Whoops. You are right. We take a Thaumium gauntlet. We take the enchanted fabric, and then we infuse it with a invisibility potion, and then possibly pump some more mana into it. Have to figure out how to do that. Maybe. Still, the thaumium might be bad for ghosts. If we make a caster's gauntlet out of enchanted fabric, though, that should be bent profitable, then. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that might work. And then we can fashion some gloves for her. Of course, I can't really tinker in this building. Ew, woo, you're gonna research me? God damn it. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. And what is this made out of? Oh, we don't know because we haven't ever researched it. 
my books. I should honestly move these outside so I don't get locked away from them again. There we go. I still have the cupcake. Maybe we should go give it to that girl. Yeah, let's go do that. Cheerio, Lucy. We got the stuff. Hmm. If I'm heading out. Yeah, it's worth looking again. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Just head out. I don't think we'll need it, but in case we get like hit by mobs in the night, then we'll need it. So let's just get out of the city. Read the name, Rex, of what? Hello, Alley Dragon Warrior. What do I need to read, Flame? Bong, 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 bong. Ow. I broke all of my ankles. All of them. All three. Whoop. Void Seer. Huh. Let's see. Just bounce. Just bounce on out of here. <sighs> this isn't the exit to the city. That is fucking. Because I have a question. What are you doing? I just came back from God saying no to me. Hi, welcome back, Freddy. I am going to pop outside of the city so that I can go deliver this cupcake. It is day, right? Yeah, so this gate should be open. Great. All right. Uh, which way did we... Oh. Cat? Cat? Hello. How are you here? Um, I flew. From Mythos? You just... Yep. Well, damn. <laughs> okay. There really no one wanted to give you a ride? Are you serious? Um, I think I missed everyone. Oh. So... Here, do you want to wanna go find them? Oh, well, there are a couple idiots right there. I mean, that's probably not who you were meant to go with, yeah? <laughs> um, I don't know. I wasn't coming here for any sort of... I'm just... I mean, you just flew across the ocean to get here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to tell if you don't want to, but... Hey, Rick. Uh, chance. Uh, I'm sorry to ask this, but... I don't really know that much about dreads. Could you inform me something? Hmm. Huh. Oh yeah, cause you uh do got the horns. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'll give you the quick run through, a crash course, cause I had to learn everything the hard way. A lot of things you won't like. Uh, not a whole lot of upsides. Congratulations, you are now partially half demon, something like that. I don't know. You're definitely not a dragon dread, I'm pretty sure anyway, but that isn't, dragon dreads are rare, so that's not like it would be anything bad or anything. So, um, the fact is you're partially demon. What that pretty much entails is, uh, well, I don't know what that entails exactly. You're going to get an addiction to magic if you haven't already, then sooner or later. You're going to find yourself craving it. You're going to want to research and things like that, and if you go too long without it, you'll start going through withdrawals. That won't be fun. So if I were you, try to keep it in doses. Try to stay away from the bad stuff. Dreads are characterized by insanity. Almost every single one of them turn insane because they're 
born from the void. If you don't want that to happen to you, avoid warp as much as you can. Try to prolong your flux formation as much as possible. That says avoid flux, avoid wielding flux. Otherwise, you get a cool arm like me. You know, you can see this cool little hand right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want that. It sucks sometimes. Red eyes. The only thing I can tell you about red eyes is that dreads, based on their eye color, apparently are different levels of rarity and possibly are indicative of different levels of power. And red is actually pretty rare, if I recall correctly. So, who knows? Maybe you're a little magic wield. We don't know it. But if you aren't careful, you will go insane. So, be careful. Well. That's all you really need to know. Just tread lightly. No one gave me the warning until it was a little too late for me. So I'm going to give it to you now. Careful around flux. Careful around warp. Do whatever it takes to study as much magic as you can. And hope, pray to God you don't run out of things to study. Okay. All right. Anything else? Thank you. No problem. No, I don't really have anything. Yeah, well... I'm around, so if you need something, just hunt me down, because everyone does, like, insistently. Just no matter where I am, they always find it. Just, just don't worry about it. It was a coincidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, because I love your no company problem. so much, Rex. Come on, ghost girl. <laughs> so if I were two idiots... Where would I be? Um, maybe they're at their job. I don't know if they've popped in yet. We can go check. That inn's still shut down. Zoe's still in the hospital last I checked. Casino, Flame says? We can go check the job first, this half of the city, and if they're not here, we'll check the other half. Alright. What actually ended up happening to her? To Zoe? Yeah. Fortunately, I don't think anything. Dude abducted her. And then, you know, shoved her in a... Someone's sleep, please, coward. And they, uh... Shoved her inside of a cell, inside of the sewers. And then we went down there and found them. Beat the shit out of them. And then it turns out that they had a... A dagger that I came across before. Actually still had my blood on it. Um... Huh. That they apparently bought from someone. We were gonna check their workplace. I instinctively just ran all the way to the hospital. Because <laughs> we talked about Zoe, you know, I was like, damn. Alright. Let's see if we can get them to show up on my mini map. Whatcha? They're not here. Ah, they're up here. The power of cheating prevails! Nice. I think they're running to my house. Let's jump them when they get there. Yeah, look at them. Look at these idiots. <laughs> oh, man. Man. These is the simple things that we live for, cat. Exactly. I gotta move myself. Like, God fucking damn it! I'm moving them in here. Fuck it. <laughs> Greetings, assholes. Yes, hello, hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah, I figured that's why we just fucking did the switcheroo on you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Just finished up work. You just thought you'd like to know the update on Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we got a trial. We managed to- oh, okay. I guess we're going in. Can we come in? You just go in. I guess we're going in. I guess we're talking upstairs, I guess. Oh, we're go- Hi, Lucia. I think we're going upstairs. Okay. We're going upstairs. Here we go. Yep, yep. He, he's- me too. Is that a companion key? Okay. I'm not questioning it. I'm questioning it. Okay! Okay. So, quick update. We yep. went over to a tier to look for more clues, and we ended up running into Genesis and Vix having a fight. With uh, Neo and Raven. Yeah. Two of which we have convinced to help us with finding information. Three. 
Oh, yeah, Genesis. Genesis 2 now. But basically what came out of the entire fight was that we convinced Vix to give him a trial. Whether or not it'll be fair, we'll have to wait and see. But it's happening Friday. Okay. Great. Yeah, and Wolf's been trying to follow Vix since uh, she's, she seems to leave the town at night. Apparently Wolf? she's been teleporting. Wolf can't keep up with her. <sighs> she definitely is working with the ritualist then. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe she, yeah that's what um, Wolf was theorizing as well. Okay. Don't give up your investigation. Even if we get Sam out of there, there's a very likely chance that once we do get Sam out, our trail will go cold. Because for some reason, the edict really wants him sent into a prison cell, which means there's something about him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So okay. logically, if this trial succeeds and he gets out of there, we'll lose whatever lead we have on the edict. Keep striking the iron's hot. Mm -hmm. Will do. Yeah, we got Wolf caught up on all the information that we have so that he can keep an eye out for possibly a key to that Thaumian door or for that Eldritch Lock or something. Okay. So we can get any more leads. <sighs> Is that all? Uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing else has happened. That's pretty much all we got going on right now in, Myth in Mythos land. Great. Yep. Turn out not everything's Everything good important. With you? Yeah, yeah apparently Swan it. took the same job as me because she can't leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> well, where are you working? Well, I'm working at the casino on busy nights and then I'm also working at the bookstore. In which job is she at? The bookstore. Okay, oh. come on. You kind of walked into that one. She's a librarian, for heaven's sake. She doesn't live in Teramos! Yeah, I know, but if there's any job she's going to want, it's probably going to have to do with books. Yeah, she's like, a loser. We, we don't live here. She's we a loser. <laughs> so like, we don't live here, but we work at the seafood restaurant. Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't say you both weren't idiots either. Well, we need to get jobs somehow. I guess. Uh, You'll probably never even run into her that often. Starting a guild is difficult. It's not like we get jobs or anything. Everything we're kind of doing right now is pretty altruistically, which when you think about it at the end of the day, there isn't a proper way for a guild to survive. We need to be able to pay our members. Yeah, oh wait, um, Wiley, do you want to give them the update on Ren, though? Oh, no mm -hmm. need, that's Vanguard stuff. Okay, fair. All right, we'll give you updated on the situation with Sam. Still curious, what? Oh, well, were you there when Ren stopped by Vanguard a couple weeks back? Yeah, forever ago? Yeah, she came by saying she was going to start extorting the town. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been spending my off time, when we're not looking for ritualist details or trying to get information on Sam, Dealing with that situation, I've been visiting the ship pretty much daily, talking to the members, trying to get to know them, and I think I've bought us quite a bit of time for now. She was going to attack Vanguard, but one of the members that I've been growing closer to ended up stalling for me a bit. Okay. So we're in the clear for now. I'm going to keep trying to get to know them. They're actually not bad people, and some of them might end up, I don't know, I might recruit them if I can, into the city. Seriously? They're really not bad. They're pirates. Yeah, but... I get they weren't... the whole redemption thing, but they gotta have to want it. That's the thing. They're... They're really not bad people. I don't, I don't know. One of them. Good choices. Are we talking about the same people? Because the first time we showed up, one of them said that they forgot that someone was dead down in a cell. Okay, for not like days. all of them, but there are some of them are quite nice, actually. Not all of them, though. Yeah, definitely not. But Yeah, like, legit, one of them bought us time by, like, telling them that there was business in East Haven when there isn't yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there definitely isn't anything around here. We read the same news article about her saying that she was going to make this town her bitch, but she definitely hasn't done that. I'm going to 
gonna be real honest I had to mute for one second because someone followed did you say my name because you're staring at me like I need to respond <laughs> be really honest no one said anything <sighs> just everyone just stare at cat why you ditched cat what how what? could you she had to fly what? here what do you mean? Shame on all of you. She can't take the Wait. carriage like you can, but she wanted to come here, and you just left her behind. We don't know how to get here. You take a carriage. She can't. She just flew all the way from Mythos to here. Say sorry. Sorry. I mean, nothing sorry, cat. of a big deal, but... But it's okay. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah, unless you got anything yeah. that's happened. Like, um, Zoe okay? She's in the hospital. You can go check on her if you want. Yeah, um, I wanted to go over there anyways. Fine. Uh, well, go back there again, I guess. Hmm. I had to figure out how to get up off of a chair. It's not, I, uh, yeah. Uh, Damn it. Nope. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I saw what you trying to do over there, bub. Fine. I think he just got cardio. Oh, was it Sin? We Sin gotta run. That? I gotta Sin run. Sin was talking about saving up. I gotta run. Mm -hmm. That means he did My it. My legs are actually really dead. I can barely will myself to fucking jog right now. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, just... Jared. Welcome. I got dead leg, chat. Holy shit. Hey. Oh my god. I'm already getting tired. I'm lightly jogging. Maybe I'm dying, dog. Nah, it's totally because I just like ate no, a no, shit it's, ton no, not it's, too long ago. No, Ovex dead. Ovex dead. Ah. Alright, Sin. Alright, I'm back. Cardio fulfilled. Cardio fulfilled. There he goes. Didn't need to talk to Lyra. Hmm? Nothing, just talking to myself. No, okay. Don't will. Bang! Bang. Bang. Hi, Queen! Oh. <laughs> hey! Hi, Cyan! Are they pog? They are pog. Oh, she's in here? No, I just opened that door for no reason. <laughs> hey, Zoe. See, still unconscious. Mm. Yeah, it was like last time we knew she was, well, in the sewers, so. How yeah. did she get in there? Me and Marshy talked to Northstar. Draco went, yeah, that is a problem. We went down there with Percy. Apparently there's a bunch of monsters that they occasionally need to go down there to clear out. Otherwise they keep procreating and then they will... You know, the infestation down there grows too large and they leak out yeah. into the city. So they constantly need to go down there and keep that in check. So we went down there. We ran around the sewers for a bit. Found there was a breach in the wall that Percy said wasn't always there. We went down into it, me and Marshy. Um, turns out she was locked inside of a cage, inside of a mine shaft, and that dude was there. I kicked his shit in. Nice. And now we're here. Perfect. And it turns oh, out okay. that he owns, or owned, I guess, a very familiar dagger. Wait, he was the thief? No. Rex, you want to see what I typed in Lily's chat to make her laugh? Sure, Queen. <laughs> yeah, Queen's been sending really funny memes. No, what? He... I got this. You remember the alacrum <gasps> keep that we went to that I turned into a trial? Yes. Do you remember how to perform a sacrifice in order to get it open? In the ritualist dagger. Mm hmm. Shit. I see. A company oh. called Larry Mac Trades apparently sold it to him. I talked to him. He said he has no idea what the alacrum edict is. 
Hmm. But he said that they sold it to him under the premise that it was a cool artifact. You know, rare stuff that's been around for centuries. He thought he could get an impressor with it. I think it controlled him. Hmm. His arm looks like mine. Okay, now I get why you say it was controlling him. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't know if it was the dagger or my blood or both, but either way, I feel responsible. Because I shouldn't have been sloppy enough to leave that dagger there in the first place. I see. What's done is done, though. All we could do is learn from the mistakes and move on. No, because this is a new threat, which is that the Alacrum Edict could possibly be in this country. I think they're everywhere. No. Mm -hmm. No one in Teramos has ever heard of the Alacrum Edict. Seriously? Nope. Huh? Not a soul. And while not everyone knows about them in Mythos, at least some people are aware of their existence. Yeah. Hmm. Every single I mean, cultist that we've come across in Mythos, or at least in proximity. It wasn't being active until we showed up in Mythos, though. I imagine they might be what here or mean? have been here for a while. They were always there. They became active. They were active. always there. They became active with us because we provoked them. The Indo conglomerate said themselves that they were fighting them forever. And where does the Indo conglomerate reside in Mythos? You don't see no, organizations I... like that in this country. You don't see it like that in anywhere else in the world. I just mean maybe no one's provoked them here yet. They could be here. And like you said, this opens up the fact that they might be. They might have been for a while. That makes no sense. Their leader is Rowan and he lives in Mythos. That's not coincidental. I don't know. I just... If I was the leader of a giant cult, I'd start sending people as soon as possible to get roots in other areas. Info. It's powerful. No, it's dividing your people into the point where you can't even sustain yourself. What, should we start sending out everyone in Blood Oath to different continents? Start well, operating in different is we're areas? Small and we don't have resources, but they do. They no, that's weak. They like have that. seven ritualists. Only seven supreme ritualists. How many were in Mythos? What? So there are two that we don't know about. Cain's in Mythos, so we take that back right now. There's one unaccounted for cultist that is either Iris or Order. All I'm saying is it's not something we should. No just matter pull out how you look at it, up. there are six supreme ritualists in Mythos. We know there are only six working under. We know that there are seven working under Rowan. Let's say that one is in a different continent, right? There are three other continents that we know of. We aren't even thinking about how po they could possibly be in Etheria, which they probably are, or anywhere else in the world. If we want to think that they need other leadership in order to operate in other countries, why is every single ritualist and their leader and the biggest threat we have ever met, Jester, only in Mythos? It's illogical. It doesn't make any sense. They shouldn't be here. I know for a fact, because that's why I'm here, is because they shouldn't be here! saying is to just keep an open mind i get it you came here to escape them but the reality is they might be here now they can't be you're being irrational it makes no logical sense for them okay. to be here there's no such thing as just coincidences lily they didn't just set themselves up I shouldn't even be known to be here. There is no way that they can be here. The closest we've got is that Wolf and Mir have been with like in this city with Rowan before. That's as close as we've ever gotten. But obviously, they didn't stick around because it wasn't important to them. There is no reason, no logical explanation on why there would be any of the edict here. Why Rowan would divert his power and resources to this country when there is no gain to it. Do you even know what Rowan's goal is? End goal? I don't know. Taking over the world? <sighs> If 
if this world gets overtaken by the void, it doesn't matter where they are. They don't need to start some war campaign against every single country. That's why they haven't. Why don't you think they've amassed armies that constantly battle against every single country or try to work them down from the inside? Because that's not what they're going for, Lily. I've even thought for a second to sit down and think like your enemy. Of course I have. Then you've thought wrong. Yep. Always wrong. Consider that another order from Blood Oath. Think about why Owen does what he does. Figure out what his end goal is. Because I know, but if you can't figure it out yourselves, then you have to. If you don't even know what we're fighting against, you can't fight it. This law room is really the lacrimy addict, though. And that means they're here for me. And that means that this is all my fault, again. That's why the Alacrimedic isn't here. What? Oh. Hey, Ross. Yeah, I didn't see you around. No, I think it was just about done. Did you need something? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. If you have any updates, let us know. And what'd she say? Yeah, ignore them. This is nothing new. Okay. Should I run fast there, or are you just relaying the info? Okay. What do I gotta do? You should chat with her. Okay. Gotta remember where she is. She is in this half of the city, I think. Just gotta remember which building. No, it's in the other half of the city. All the way on the other end. Ah. Uh... <sighs> They're still in my way. Let's go around them. We'll go deliver the cupcake later, yes. I think this is Lyra's right here. Yep. Sweet. Awesome. Ross still with us? Yeah. Hey. You have anything to say? Nope. Alright. Oh, there, Lyra. <sighs> Hello, dears. Welcome to my store. Please look around at your leisure. So, Ross told me to come to you for a mask. Ah. 
Yes. A caravan of mine has recently gone missing. The caravan held many precious magical artifacts and items that I had been planning on selling during the festival, so you can understand the concern. Your order for a mask is complicated, but I will do it if you find this caravan for me and discover what happened to it. Rosalind told me you are strong, so I trust you won't have a hard time it's outside the city. Yeah, I got it. Your help is graciously appreciated. Good luck. Graciously, I can't speak chat. Hey, Roz, don't break a bottle. <laughs> Jeez. Then if you break it, then one of us has got to pay for it. All right. Caravan outside the city. <laughs> Let's see. Caravan of magical items has gone missing. These magical items were going to be sent to Larry's shop for her to sell. She's becoming concerned as there have been reports of strange activity outside the walls of the city. In exchange for making me a flux concealing mask, she wants me to check it out. Okay. Uh, if you have nothing better to do. Alright, we should probably haul ass to the front before the sun sets. Is it rising or setting? It's rising. Never mind. I've got all the time in the world. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I guess that is fair. You've never heard of, like, a Laru Mac trades, have you? Mm, figures. This is bad shot. Yep. Can't say it doesn't leave a sour taste in my mouth, because it definitely does. Oh, that's... Nothing new. I always hear a dog barking like up here. That means someone hit it in the walls or something. Yeah, see? It's hidden somewhere. I think it's in there. Yeah, there's a dog right there. Why is there a dog there? Who put a dog on the wall? Who put a wall dog? Can't see it from this angle. Why is there a poor wall dog? <laughs> Why, why why is there a wall dog should I break out the wall dog I can't tell whose dog this is because I removed the top screen thing I can't break this block I physically don't have a pickaxe are you fucking I come back to wall pupper. Yeah, why is there a wall dog? It's so sad. It's just sad face. Fate, face, face, fate, fate, face. Guess the worst case scenario could use the dagger itself as a weapon. Oh, hey. Um, depends on your perspective, but I'd like to say so. Oh. Alrighty. This will work. Does more damage than that. This does have leech though. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, it is. It's um metal infused with magic. In a way. Say west? Sure, we can bounce this way. I did run this way the other day though and I didn't see anything, but I guess I didn't go that far. Did I run this way? No, I didn't actually. Okay, I take that entirely back. Termos is very pretty. Shoot away, flame. Bang. There's a spruce forest in the Mythos? A lot of forests. A lot of them. Actually quite a few magic forests too. Uh quite a few volcanoes, if I remember correctly. There's not a whole lot of open airy spaces. A lot of oil. A lot a lot of oil.
But uh, yeah, what else about Mythos? There's a lot of small towns. Nothing too special about them or anything. Um, and there is just like... I think there's a kingdom called Olden. I think they hate magic there. So that's cool. Not really, but yeah. No, oh, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Guess swamps is off limits. We should probably run around the perimeter of it. It's probably over here. <laughs> Just don't fuck with them. Bees aren't that bad. Unless, you know, you start fucking with their hive or something. Do you think that Rowan will keep on using the traveling merchant disguise and fooling people and making them join him? We've seen him do it in order to get Mirror. Other than that, I don't think he really needs to bother doing recruitment now. He's more focused on leading. That was like years ago, Flame. That was like 10 years ago. Probably when he was first rising to power. Oh, Roz is... Um, Rowan is... He's pretty much uh, the leader of a cult. Not a cool dude. Not a cool dude at all. This is a criminal. He definitely deserves to get taken down. Did you find something? Because I definitely haven't. Not at that. This. Hold on, I gotta find because I lost you. Used to be a volcano, I thought. Oh, shit, you're right. And that definitely did used to be a volcano. Sure. No easy way down this mountain. The angel? Yeah, definitely that weird chanting she was doing. Berry bush? What the hell is this? This just dropped from the sky. They definitely did. The hell? Just dropped from the sky. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's let's mad lad our way back up this uh mountain. Oh shit, she's at the top. Alright, let's definitely mad lad our way up. Here, let's drop these. We could swim with the water, but that's for cowards! We're not cowards here, chat. We do things the hard way. Damn it. I've done this before, so we know it's possible, chat. We definitely didn't do it here, though. Fuck it. <laughs> We're close enough. We can cheat a little bit. Didn't this used to be a volcano? Indeed, indeed, indeed. Not far away from East Haven, though, so that had to have been a safety risk. What a, what a, what a homie. She definitely didn't have to do that, but she did. We made it! All the way up. Bang. Bang. Where'd she go? Ah, there she is. Yo! Hey, hey, it's the same old, same old. <laughs> yeah. I heard you wanted a cupcake. Here. Jeez. <laughs> Guess there won't be any leftovers. Well, that's groundling food for you. Isn't it so rewarding to break the, ru the rules, you know? <laughs> no. I can buy one. It went good job on the volcano, I guess. These flowers do not like staying in place.
So yeah, it just yeah, definitely isn't holding. That's really sad. Well, I have to do this chat. It's that this is too much of a fucking opportunity for me to pass up. All right, so feel free to quote this. Feel free to do whatever you want with this. I gotta do it. Hecate, uh, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Sorry, it was an expression I had to use. I mean, you kind of did fall though, whenever we scared you. You just caught yourself. I flew down slowly to ensure damage is not inflicted. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for um, doing this work on this volcano. Can I ask why? I mean, thought you guys had like a whole no, no interfering policy. Do you guys just often come down to help out whatever way you can? Okay, that's kind of respectable then. I thought you guys were all pretentious assholes that were righteous and didn't care about anything that happened down here because you were up in the sky. We may not be seen, we still wish to purify the land. I see. I can see that being useful, but I'm pretty sure at least my running theory is too much purity can be a bad thing. In this case, though, it's nice. Very pretty. It very much did, yeah. Still does, but yeah. Oh, believe me. I'm pretty sure the people that live down here are causing most of those. Chorus Angels, okay. So you all have different roles. I think I ran into a Valkyrie before. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that's one of your war people. I'm not sure what other types I've run into, but I definitely have. Yep, great. Huh. Yeah, I remember when uh, uh, I think she came down. She saw a bunch of people started shooting them down. Only reason she stopped is because I guess she has really bad eyesight and confused me for uh, your head honcho. Mm-hmm. Should waypoint this chat. We'll call this um how should I waypoint this? I forget what my waypoint button is. That one. Let's call this. We'll call this um what color should we give her? Uh we'll give her like a this is purple, but it looks like a pink. We'll give it a pink. And we'll call this uh Hecate's Mountain. Boom. Okay. So now we always remember how to get back here. And defend the king and country. Oh, well. If the, She really did confuse me for the king, but I mean, before she did, she was still shooting at us, so... That one definitely did, didn't do a good, good job. Considering she on-site shot me. If I was the actual king, I'd be very insulted. Valkyries are hardened warriors. So they do not have the sight. Gotcha. So they confuse poor dread boys like me for angels. Got it. Mm-hmm. Is he... <laughs> wow dude does seem full of himself just a question you mentioned the sight is that like we have a term like that down here we use it when referring to people that can see ghosts is it like that can you see ghosts okay gotcha right you said something about an empty glass. I remember this. Okay. Angelic sight and then ghost sight. Chat. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. well, I'm sorry your flowers didn't stick. Um, but I mean, normal like down here flowers are still pretty nice. Like here, you could take one with you. Maybe you'll stick in the soil up there. Yes. Well, you can have the first one, you know, as long as it'll sit, because, you know, it may hate your soil as much as your flowers hate ours. That's nice. Huh. What do you mean by that? Oh, is he the opposite? <laughs> Fantastic. Mm hmm. Conceded. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind whenever I figure out how to get up there and uh, meet him myself. There's only one reason he's on the throne in the first place. Why is that? Oh, so you guys have like the whole religious thing where it's like you're chosen by gods. Yep. Divine right of kings, chat. Divine right of kings. Interesting. Okay. So I guess the most powerful lead. Huh. That's a good question. Once upon a time, a while back... I ran into an angel, and then for like a whole day afterwards, I went through this thing where I could sometimes fly and sometimes not. Do you know anything about that? Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, I guess possessing some of those feathers for a time being allowed me to somewhat fly, but not really. Gotcha. Ah. Interesting. Well, definitely can't fly anymore. <laughs> Yeah, just, I guess, in two different ways, since you guys are all pure and stuff like that, and I am not. <laughs> yeah, well, if I could fly, I would bounce up there myself, but instead I gotta figure out another way, because potions of levitation do not work. Yep. Only portals or angels can reach Etheria. I see. So if you were to give me a piggyback ride, I'd be able to get to Etheria. <laughs> Damn it. I have heard about a chariot before. Ah, then that's how another way of getting up, I guess. Sky whales? That sounds horrifying. 
Has one never died up there and just plummeted down to the land below? Jesus. They turn into clouds. Wow. Did, definitely didn't expect that one. Wait, so are those a bu Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Oh! Wait, that's really sad. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Wow, that definitely changes my perspective on everything. Holy shit. You know, they taught me in school that they were just vapor. Of just water evaporating into the sky because of the sun's heat. I thought that was just water. But no, those are whales. Chat, think about that when you look up next time. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty jarring. I guess, well... Kind of like how you guys have stuff up there. I'm sure there's stuff down here that would definitely be a culture shock to you. No, Ven, no. Oh, man. What the hell? Um, I should go check on that because it sounds like she found something. Thank you for the talk. It's been lovely. Uh, sure, I'll be back next time. I'll bring more cupcakes. You see fi- Bye! Careful is one of my 50 middle names! Alright, let's go. We gotta go straight east. Alright. Here we go. Fire. Fire. Let's hope Roz started it. That's the best turn of events here. Jesus! Ah, oh, Dark Wolfie 21. Thank you for following. Ah, oh, I'm too on edge right now. I'm too on edge. There, that's the caravan. Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit, Roz! Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Shit! Oh, this is gonna be a tricky fight. I'll have to be very careful. Because too many hits from these guys could be lethal. Yeah, too many hits from these guys will be lethal. What the hell is that? Shit! This can be bad. I don't have a healing spell anymore, chat. Shit, careful, Roz! Damn, they can take a beating. Shit. Come on, how many hits can he take? There. There. Ross, you good? The hell is going on up here? Don't tell me there's still more cultists around, right? Yeah, yeah, sit back, Ross. Who the hell are you? Shit. Guess we found the caravan. Of course he knows who I am. Roz just does not chill out. Careful, Roz. There we go. Sit back, Ross. How the hell do you know who I am? What are you doing here? What the fuck? Oh, shit, Roz. Did I hit her on accident? No, I'm gonna get killed. Please. Please. Hold on. 
out of range? I'm out of range. Great. Okay. Now can we get to it? Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Now can we get to it? <laughs> Why are you here? Bait? You call attacking a caravan bait? Yeah, well, congratulations. Now you're gonna be the first to die now that you've pulled me out. <sighs> Shut up. I don't need spells to kill you! I can get it done with just two. Alright, Chad. Looks like it's a fight. I don't plan on losing. <sighs> Here's to never getting a break, right? Come on, then! Shit. This'll prove tricky. We're going to have to be careful if we take too many hits ah! at once, chat. It could be bad. Thank you, Connie's dead body. Shit. Shit. Get some cover. And then dive back out. One. This one! Shit. I need to get down to the water. No! Shit! <sighs> Ross. Thanks. Thanks for the assist. We're not done here. Come on! I don't think you realize something. And it's your first lethal mistake. But I don't go down easy. Never. Every single time you kill me, I'll just come right back. Over and over again. It doesn't matter how many times. I'll just keep on coming! Over and over! Until you're all done! And this world is saved! The hell? You can't bury me. <laughs> you can try. But it won't succeed. Come on then, you coward. Come on! You thought you could just get rid of me that easily? Every single person you've killed, you're gonna pay for! You don't get to atone! I'll just keep coming! Over and over! Come on then. On. Every single person you've killed, you die for. Every single body. It's over. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh, God damn it, my arm. Holy shit, my arm. Get this gauntlet off of me.
Huh? Ross. Are you doing okay? <laughs> yeah. I can't die. It's uh one of the cool things you'll get to know about me. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I guess my running theory is using flux bolt that much, or at least wielding flux, allowed me to grow a tolerance. And then I put it away for so long that using it again really wasn't a smart idea. Sorry. What do you mean? I have you to thank. <laughs> Come on, I'm still here. If you didn't pull me up every single one of those times, I wouldn't have gotten back up right in the exact same place. I, I didn't even know that was possible until then. You've done something that I didn't even know was actually possible. Normally, we come back at our place of rest. But... Every single time I felt you pulling me back straight from death. And then I just instead woke back up right there. Well, damn. I was more worried about you. Because I know if I didn't get back there, then it would have been you. That would have been the worst thing. Because I can't die. I can take as many hits as I want, but if I wake up in my bed halfway across the world and I can't get to you, then what was even the point of fighting in the first place? <laughs> you took down a bunch of cultists. Thanks for that, but it definitely wore you out. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have been able to win that fight without you. Genuinely. I would not have won. It is a biggie. I'm serious. Not only were you actually skilled at fighting, which I didn't expect, but we wouldn't have been able to take down that cultist. You played just as much a part in that as I did. It's a shame all those caravan people had to die, but they didn't die in vain because of you. Well, you may go uncredited in somewhere like this. I respect you for it, genuinely. The only bad thing that comes from this, though, Ross, is... <laughs> I can't stay anymore. And the stagger. The fact I came in contact with it again means that I gotta go. If they know I'm here, then everyone in the city, you, that girl at the bank, anybody that's just associated with me, even for a little bit, they could be in danger. This entire city could be in danger.
I will. Believe me, I will. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I will, I will come back here. I just can't stay. As long as they know that I'm out of here, they're not going to bother with trying anything else here. They outsmarted me again. It's annoying that I let my guard down like that. But. <sighs> it was fun while it lasted. And it is time for me to get back to work. I should talk to Lyra again so that she can know what you happened. So she can mail you that mask of yours. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her something on my way out. I just, you know, I've got to pack up everything anyway. Yeah. You keep awesome weapons. I'm serious. Believe me, I am. There's a lot of work that I can still do here, too. <laughs> Trust me. I will constantly be back. If my parrot's dead, dragon, people are going to die. Michael Sanchez. I was reading a thing that said you're more likely to like a show if it's about something you don't have. So the other night I was binging with friends. Yeah? Good luck, have fun, Pledge. I've never seen that before. That looks cool. Oh, fuck. How are we going to pack all of this? Ah, oh, shit. We don't have enough room, chat. <laughs> we have to make trips. Ah, damn. Take the food with us because we're going to starve otherwise. Oh. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Roz, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah and i guess you can't always make more of these and i'll be sure to regularly dunk it into lava <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Ah! God! Oh, oh, ah! Thank you, Michael Sanchez613, for following. <laughs> I will visit, I promise. Thanks. We'll come back for the books and everything. We'll come back for everything, actually. Let's just get out of here. I'm just gonna tuck this stuff away. Fortunately, I don't have the gear to make a backpack. All my stuff in another country. We're going to go back there. Bro, that was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, huh. What a badass sword. Well. I guess we should tell Lucia that we got to head out. And then come back here with some more. Ah! Oh, oh, Chris streams. Chris. Thank you, Chris. Holy shit. My God. You have a bag on you, Rex? Yeah, but it doesn't have a whole lot of room. So there's no point in bothering. Take the thomium off, maybe? We can... No. 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 Has my time run out? I froze. It could mean my time's run out. Chat, now we're good. We've still got time. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, no, we can't. We're not going to fit all this shit with us in one go. I don't think there's too much that we should just take with us out the gate. So we'll just leave it here and I'll come back for it. Yeah, I'll come back for it. 
because we need to get the books and everything. Uh, what are we going to do with this place? I guess it's still Lucy's. How am I going to break this sewer? We'll find out. Lucy? Hey. Um. Something happened. The, uh, the edict knows I'm here now. Hmm. I have to. Otherwise, I put everyone here in danger. Yeah. I'm sorry that it had to end like this. That this is how this ends. A little escape. A set up in the shop and everything. But I'll have more time to relax when <laughs> Yeah. When our work is done. There will always be a chance further down the line. You know. If their guild grows large enough, they're not always gonna need me. I'll have plenty of people doing my work for me. It's just getting there. And dealing with the edict, making sure that no one else dies. Yeah, I want you to come back with me, if that's, you know, still interests to you, is being a part of the guild and being back in Mythos. Yeah, we got a lot of packing to do, and we, we were halfway done! Ah! <laughs> Great. Um, and just because I don't think I've said enough before and I probably won't get another chance. Um, thanks, Lucy. <clears throat> yeah. Why are they running away? No, come back. I... No, no, come back, please. Uh, I, I wasn't part of this. Sir. I was not part of this. This is what happens when we explain Kim, I got it. to new people. I got yeah. it. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta go the same way. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> you can't see me on all the pole. Lily. Yeah. I'm sorry. You were right. What? They are oh. everywhere. I'll try what to keep happened? that in mind in the future. Okay. So what are you all doing? Uh, we Actually, if we're just introducing stuff to people. It, I got raided by um, a new person, and a bunch of people showed up, so we're just kind of giving them the breakdown of it. You want to introduce them we to Mythos? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Wait, we wait, you gotta do it. Wait, house. Rex, 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 turn around, do it. You know, what do, to do it. Do, do it. it. Man, this is a total mid-season thing. I'm glad we're here. <laughs> Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, and gentle humans, welcome to Mythos. <laughs> Yeah. Someone clip that, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, then I'm, we need to get our gear, though. <laughs> yeah. He said the line, he said it. Yeah, he did say it. Come on. Hey. So, uh, what happened? Can Anything you happened? Explain I, the... I found out something new about our behavior. If someone's there when we die, and they pull us back from the brink of death, we can respawn in the same place. Oh. Mm. Huh. 
At least, presumably, unless there's something special about that individual that I'm not aware about, it could become a common trend. That means that instead of respawning in our beds, there's a good chance that we can just respawn right there as long as someone's there to pick us back up. Well, that could come in handy. Yeah, seriously. Especially because the beds are so finicky. Sometimes I swear they're bugged out. Yeah. Sleeping in this world is fickle, indeed. Ben clipped both. Thank you. <laughs> ben, you're the best. <laughs> it's been a while, chat. It's truly been a while. Alright. And it'll be a little bit fucking longer! <laughs> no! God damn it. So if a backstage member wants to do us a favor real quick. <laughs> Also, oh, wait. since I got we have so idea. many listening ears, remember oh, backstage. Justin, did it. Justin. Justin. Yes, they Justin. Did it. I saw a bug for a second. <laughs> bug drop. <gasps> bug. Bug. Shut up. Okay. Got a theory about <laughs> yeah. that, Rex. Actually, I'd love to hear it, Flame. Come on. Oh no, that person's there. Hello. Oh. I never actually met you before. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, here we are. I'm sorry, Kat. When you want to head back to Mythos, you know where to find me. We'll Take, meet you um... back there. I, I give you air hug. Wait, we need we need to do it. We need to do the thing. Oh shit, you're right. I'm going. Up, I'm going. I got it from the other side. You wait. You're meeping. I'm meeping. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Okay. 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 <laughs> you gotta go in now, Rex. You can't. You can't wait. You so gotta go during the meeps. I'm here. I, oh, he's he did, <laughs> he did it. He's here. Where are we? Uh, we're in Oncar. I knew it. Magic fucking caravan. Yep. They have a library Easily. now. Man, things really have changed. You should check out Vanguard. It's growing pretty quickly. You should check out Vanguard. Right. Yeah. Well, the minute I stop freezing, I will. Oh yeah. Of course. <laughs> that, makes, that makes complete logistical sense. Rex, you're telling me. Look, look at mine. I am suffering over here. <laughs> Shall I tell Rex my theory? Ah, oh, I forget parts of it. It was really, wait, you gotta send it again, Ben. I know, like, the first part, he was talking about, um, the Alacrum Edict and, like, the possibility that maybe the Ritualists are just a distraction while they're trying to, like, open the portal somewhere else. The Void. It's a good theory. Oh, wait, I can also show him the, uh, the thing at the Meteor Dungeon. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. We'll have to get some food first. Yeah. Um, um, give me a, here, have some spaghetti and meatballs. And I also have uh, some bentos. Got a lot I need to get back. Not a problem. Oh. I'll just carry food around me. You'll have to I carry have me around. Cupcake. Don't exactly have any boots anymore. Well, don't worry about it. We'll do another trap. Well, that might be difficult right now. <laughs> Yeah, this well, is my there's gear. A path, there's a path. <laughs> wow. To, uh, here, there's a path from here to JFC, and then we can um. Ice Let's path just take the Vanguard. scenic route. Yeah, that's okay. where we have the paths. I don't remember where the one out of sight of this. Oh. I see it on the. Oh, map. I know where it is. It's this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's over here. We got a chocolate cake in the window. Who busted out a window and put a cake here? <laughs> I don't know, Sam. <laughs> hey, who knows? Yeah, we, we gotta question. make sure we gotta. I think it's best to take off the shoes for now. Please so don't rhythmically freeze, game. <laughs> wait, 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 good ducky. When you, when you, wait, are you referring to Rex? Question mark. What's up? <laughs> they said it's the grumpy old man in the story. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm in the story. <laughs> don't worry, I'm a minor character. You don't need to see me all the time. <laughs> Trust me, as minor as they come. Exactly. What, do you, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just... Oh man, I started crying a little bit. What do you so mean, funny. Rex? They literally yes, called Rex you Papa the Rex. <laughs> they called you Papa Rex to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Lily that Vanguard is terrible because my computer is now taking off like a jet and I gotta reload. Who? Candy. <laughs> And Erica, she no, said no my computer is new. <laughs> yeah, like, you haven't added that much reinforced. I really haven't. No, like, barely anything's been added. Everything I've added within the last couple of days was not reinforced. Are you sure about that? Yeah. 
But yeah, from here we can take the uh, JFC path, and then yeah. So I really don't feel like dying Vanguard. today. <laughs> Chat, this place really does look different from Teramos. Hmm. Rex's grunkle stand confirmed. <laughs> Isn't We're that person cry. from Gravity Falls? Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. I need should... to get you to watch that show. Oh, I forgot who took. I made someone write down a list of shows that I wanted to watch. It was. Uh... They were like all cartoons. <laughs> I, the first one I want I want to watch Gravity Marshy. Falls because it was Marshy. you'd really like it. It's funny and it's okay. cool. It's mysterious and it has some Uncle hidden lore in there amazing. too. Like they even have really a really does. cool ARG. Oh yeah, Justin's got a path to his keep now too. Yeah, he made one. Intriguing. Yeah, the city is like really well okay. built up. I like that lampposts. Damn. Yeah, yeah Marshy made yeah, the list, missing. right? We've been busy on this. We've been busy in Mythos. Uh, two people went two different directions. This I was is, going the path the... to JFC. Oh, we can go the path to JFC if you want. It's up to you. Like, I was going to do that and then Ice Bridge um, from there to Vanguard. I hate your boots. We're you going the path to Vanguard. <laughs> okay. Well, tough. It melts during the day. Well, it sucks, but... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'll see you guys there then. Hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys, no, stop. <laughs> Hashtag blame void idiots. <laughs> I remain the theory to that time. My would theory was about having calls. a connection yes. to a native being being able to bring players back. Yeah, I mean, I did hear Roz shout something, and then I came back. <gasps> Ellie Babi, welcome to chat. The Ellie chat, the she beloved. was there. Ellie, she Captain pulled me Ellie. up. Ellie the beloved? So maybe it's a Ellie. little bit of both. I feel like we're this, we're like a uh, finding Mimo, finding Mimo seagulls. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Oh, yeah, there, we still have to definitely, it's either swim or ice bridge. Rex, I came prepared. You got boats? I have a boat. I have a singular boat. Thanks. I'll run before it comes the night time. Here, just because I know Rex will refuse to use the bridge. Here you go. Thank you. I got you. Let's go. Ooh, I don't have a waypoint to Vanguard any fuck. Dude, just, just go <laughs> forward. Literally just go forward. Oh my god, it's my cherry farm that I didn't realize you could put in the ground, so I just put it like hovering above the ground. <laughs> oh no. Okay. My chat's going, Captain! Because you guys were saying Ellie. Yeah, Captain Ellie! I can't wait to freeze on my way into here. I love how like the ice bridge has here it comes. Here it comes. Rorex. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, my beloved! Is it Ellie, my chest? We're freezing as we're loading in Vanguard. If I crash, Lily, oh. your head's gonna be on a pike. Okay, we're okay. good. Oh, Mirror's here. Yeah, Mirror's here. Oh, hey. Hey, Mirror. What perfect fitting room. Hmm? Nice book. You just scared the shit out of Oh man. Hey. Yeah, in the flush. Not a ghost or anything. I'm not blue enough for that. <laughs> Thanks for the cupcake. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, yeah, I was I gonna you. get on now. <laughs> Thought you. Really, I'm gonna murder you. I'm one barring now. That I would. Did you guys not tell these people what was happening? I, I we did. Him. Yeah, we did. You told Wolf. Did you tell everyone else? I'm pretty sure we told Mirror. Oh, you definitely didn't. You guys are the worst. Oh, I thought we did. I thought we did too. What? I swear. I was laying low. It's okay. Of course, my cover got blown, so I'm back now. Oh. Mirror? Oh. Oh, that was really wholesome. That was wholesome. Don't worry. <laughs> wow, okay. My work's far from over. <sighs> Who needs free time anyway? I had a theory that is related to Angel, but I can't remember. Remember it, but make sure you put that in the Discord theory chat. Like, so what type of computer is Candy using? A fucking Mac computer? Nah, she's got a PC. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So Mira looks surprised to see Rex alive. So is Mira Rex's wife or husband? 
Wait, um, okay, um, Ellie's in my chat saying I want to show Rex Raven Guard. Wait, mod pack, please load. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. First, I'm going to show Rex this. Come back here. Yeah, you we ready? need to show him some stuff. Here. I'm glad to see that nothing's changed. We, we also need to show him that meteor dungeon area, what we found. Oh, yeah, Mir, trust me. They've heard it. That was very hidden. <laughs> I'm back, boys, just to speed run the VOD, so yay. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. I'm working on a library up here, but then down here, we're going to have a nice garden area. And trees! You wanted trees! Trees! trees. She put them underground? I'm kidding. It looks well, nice. There's two trees right there! What the heck? <laughs> oh, so you've built yeah. a makeout spot. What? <laughs> no, it's going to be a um, farm it's area. farms. Look at this. There's literally a tree and everything. It's well, secluded. Well, we haven't gotten the farms built what? yet. It's just the area's been set up. Yeah, is Lucia joining the guild? Area. Yep. All right, let's oh, fly back cool. up. There we are. You're right, there are trees. Ooh. It looks nice. Yeah. Especially this uh, fountain. Thanks! I wanted to have a nice, calm area in Vanguard, you know, between chaos. Keep going, and you might be able to call this place an actual city. Maybe. Like someday. East Haven. <laughs> it does look nice. I missed how brown it looked. You missed that? Do you know what sarcasm is, Lily? Okay. <laughs> I see. I see. No. It looks nice, though. Huh. Thank um, you. What else? Um, I think he would need, like, at least a Zephyr sword to show him that one area, though. Um, Which that, area? Uh, that, that meteor dungeon area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to need a Zephyr to get down there. We can just... Ugh, we can hold that off for a day. Yeah, if needed. Okay. Um, other developments about Vanguard, we're bringing a few more people into the city. Ovec almost stabbed a person, and Heard we're kind of bringing the family in, you know. Yeah, we, yeah, he already knows about this almost stabbing. Of but the good news is they're going to train to be guards. Okay. So we'll have eyes on the city at all times. That way, something like what happened like a couple weeks back where we all went into that portal, it won't happen again. Got There'll it. always be someone here. Okay. Is that yeah. it? Yeah. Pretty oh, much. We, yeah, we also like beefed up the, the jails a bit. Like, they now have the, um, the warded doors. We, got a we med added some area. hospital med bay swings, yeah. Let's go yeah, take a think, look. Yeah, I think Lamia's still in there, unless she's better now. No, they're okay. still there. Yeah, Lamia's been recovering this entire time. So was Noah. He was really sick. Of course. God damn it, Rex. What? Dad, <laughs> she's the last, the last teleport. Haha, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> get fucked, Wait, like, bitch! Stop it! Okay, fine, you go first. So this is Noah. Jeez, you guys really did a number on the kid, huh? Yeah. I almost feel bad for leaving him this book when he first wakes up. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> yeah, Lamia's right here. Nope. Yep. That is a Lamia. Ooh. Yep, she came in solid, honestly. With her <sighs> situation. She actually came through quite a bit. Uh, she'll be she glad to know that I find her mom just as intolerable as her. Well, yeah, she actually did apologize. To today. She did apologize though before passing. Oh out. yeah, Lamia apologized. Believe That's it or not. That's definitely a first. Yeah, it seriously was. She was very embarrassed the entire time, but she still did it. Yeah, she did. <sighs> apologized for what exactly though? Actually, everything. Like, yeah, like what she did in the past, what she did to us. Hmm. I think I don't know if she's fully there yet, but. I do think she's starting to see that it was genuinely wrong. Feel free to take offense to this, but I trust your judgment of when someone's being genuine or not way less than I trust my own. That's that's fair, I guess. Also, <laughs> who went fucking ham with the Feral Flares because you single-handedly brought the FPS down in this vault to, like, 10? The Flares? Feral huh? Flare Lanterns. That's these fucking... Oh my god, they break oh. in one hit. Like, I'm slideshowing down here, it. like the slideshow chat. How does it feel to die three times? Well, chat, to be specific, we have died 
62, mm -hmm. so. Lily's died over 100? What? I have? Yeah, 117, man. Ooh. So how's everyone yeah. else? Oh my god, it's been a while since I've seen Blank. Hold on. Yeah, that nightmare battle really did me in, honestly. I think yeah. I died 30 something. Times. Oh, did you actually build Blank a house? I mean, yeah, oh. there's plenty of empty places for her to come into. Hey, Ellie. And where is she? She hasn't been around Taking much some ever time since. To herself. I've been trying to visit her every day ever since what the cat? nightmare situation, but. Hmm? What cat? She's taking some time to herself. She told you? No. Oh. The nightmare situation was pretty bad, Rex. It, it, it was really bad. And the thing is... Yeah. Make it 69, Rex, eventually. Oh, God. When Cat and Blank were there, a lot of the stuff they were saying was true. And I think coming out of that, I can't speak for you, Kat, but I think they're still very aware of that. And we can try all we want to make up for it, but it doesn't change the fact that it happened. Mirror. Um, Look, they mirror? make a lot of mistakes, but... Yeah. Hi. Hey, Ellie. We Who hi. doesn't? Someone came with us. <laughs> Just because they made a massive one doesn't mean they can't learn from it and then do better next time. As unfortunate as it is. Believe me, they've heard enough of it from me. Hmm. Abandoned you? You know we tried to get in there, right? It Instantly, and we couldn't, and we did everything we could to get you guys out of there as fast as Lally. possible. Lay off. Too little, too late. Yeah. What's in the past is in the past. Yeah, but keep, keep hey. bringing hey. the past over and over. Hey! You know how prone he is to flux formations. If you are intent on intentionally upsetting him, you're going to cause one in your own vault. Do you even think before you act? These people are hurt. This is obviously fresh, Lily. Just leave it be. People are going to be disapproving of some things that you do, and you just gotta live with that. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. The fact of the matter is they were down there for days, and you guys couldn't get them out. Whenever they're, whenever it isn't as fresh on their mind, they'll be more likely to forgive. Mm -hmm. But you can't be upset at them for how they feel. Believe me, I've made that mistake. Okay. Don't yell at me. What? I'm sick and tired of it. You're right. I'm sorry, Mirror. I shouldn't have gone against you like that, but don't... Not everything needs to be resolved that way. You wouldn't listen. You just have to talk. That's Talking doesn't always do. work with you. And that's clear with what just happened. You never try talking. I just did. And I listened when you talked. No, you didn't. You I think I yelled it. just to yell? I raised my voice because you were speaking over me. Because you were going to piss off Mirror. If I didn't raise my voice, you would have kept going, and you know that. Don't even act like you would. Hey, Ellie. Hey. 
surprised you're here. I got kicked out. Oh. And by kicked out, I mean I really just, the Alacrum Edicts kicked me out because they blew my cover. So, can't stay the there. The Alacrum Edicts were in East Haven? And Teramos. They found out where I was. Oh, dear. So, can't stay there anymore. That's not good. They pulled me out of hiding. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, throw this in the vault for me. It has some weird properties. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, by the way, warning. If mm. Ellie gets a blue eye still, uh, that's still a recurring thing. Okay, well, hold on. You'll have to explain this to me after I'm done cardioing! Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was there. I just don't know if he knows it's a reoccurring thing. <laughs> Put that there. Oh. Can I place it down? Apparently not. There we go. I nailed I swear it. To God first if Ovik, try it. I swear to God, if Ovek warded it. The fucking. <laughs> I'm lagging. Bruh. <laughs> I'm sad. Okay. Actually going to Thanks, Jay. Hands I water. needed the water. Alright. Talk again. Uh, but yeah, uh, the the blue thing, the blue okay. eye thing that was going on with Ellie last time you saw her, I believe. Why? Uh, it it's hmm? still going on. So, if she's an asshole, that's why. That's it's not her. Blue eye thing, Sans. <laughs> it, it, like legit, I, I, it's it likes to be a smartass and insult. That's literally all the blue, whatever blue when the blue eye shows up. It's just pretty much. Whatever comes out is just a small. I ass. can't control it. Yeah, we know you can't. We're not mad at you. Mm. Just whoever's behind the blue eye thing is an asshole. Victory boy is home. <laughs> Victory boy. Victory boy actually isn't in um Raven God for some reason. Okay, chicken nuggets. Gotcha. Lamias. How classy. We'll note that. Please. Please, Minecraft. Please have Come mercy. Vanguard, have we mercy. Also, okay. We're we good. can move away from uh, from Vanguard if needed, because there's a lot of other stuff that's happened while you've been gone. Sure. I should probably grab my stuff. Yeah, if then your stuff's in up. an under chest, you can always grab it out of Ellie's house and her under chest. Oh uh, yeah, I have. Yeah. So where are we going? Um. We can go to Raven Guard. Okay, go. let's go. Let's go. I don't know if Mira wants to come with or he just wants to chill. I know he likes it. Tell I added a bunch of trees. <laughs> Alright then. Trees. Trees. I'll we'll see it's you around. It works getting up. Oh, did it does? <sighs> getting up, but not down. <gasps> What's up, Mira? <laughs> You need something? Oh, yeah, by the way, Ellie, I noticed something on your, um... I don't know who did this. Add a character that was Justin? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> glad to be here. Alright. Where the hell is my shit? You coming, cat? Yeah. Um. yeah, you too. Nope, not in there. Okay, no. where are we going? Get your shit, Ellie. Uh, yeah, I'm Ellie's just trying, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the wrong one. Where's the right one? Hello? Oh, I'm uh, yeah, that is that. the one and only Callum, writer of the murder on the Polar Express or whatever it was. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah, in here. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, Ellie, just stop. Just stop, Ellie. You have one bar. Yeah. She is at one bar. Come on, Ellie. I will oh. live. Come on. I will I live. I don't think I Brooks live. knows about what I, I made. What did you make? I will live. Uh, well, since it was a very fluxy situation with the um, 
with the nightmare. Ow. No, please. God, I did please. not want to be just <laughs> on the stop. sidelines during Anywho. all that, so took it out of the way. What the fuck's on your face? <laughs> it's a mask hooked up with a sensor filter, so it blocks out the flux so I can breathe in it. Yeah, you need a... It's a prototype, right? Yeah, it's a prototype. Oh, great. Because uh definitely could use a <laughs> visual upgrade. Bruh. So where's Ellie? Okay. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Okay. I'm, I'm... Hi. Blue, what? You just Blue. fucking <laughs> evaded my vision. <laughs> How did you do that? You just um, ninjagoed past me. Yeah. I'm, ninja. I'm a ninja now. You know, right. you left, I became ninja. That's how it works. All right. Anywho. Well, but yeah. Let's go. Whee! I remember correctly. Okay, you, can take, you guys can take votes. I'm taking ice. Fuck you, I'm running there. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the ice way. Nice spaghetti, thank you. We're headed to Raven Guard? To Raven Guard. Oh, don't me having spaghetti at 9.15 p.m. When else would you eat spaghetti? I don't have my fan in my hotbar. It's very annoying. There we go. This is why I just have my Zephyr with me. I have to rewatch the VOD, but I bet the story is grand. It's pretty good. <laughs> Athena doesn't think so, but it's pretty good. I'll wait at the path to the actual thing. I'm lagging. Oh no! Raven God Library itself. Mm hmm. Yeah, that where you can be. And then I can show you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I see. Well, I am oh. lagging still. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. lagging. You shut your ass up about my one <laughs> body, son of a bitch. Hello, Anywho. Hello, my beloved. My beloved? What? Ah. Hello there. You jumped me. Yes, I I've been jumped I'm, I'm by ninja. the Camelot Warrior. Yes. I see a few selected yeah. words for Athena. <laughs> nice. Do you have a backup pair of Boots of the Travelers? I wonder how long it would like take a... to watch the whole Mythos series. It would take a, mm, it would take a, at this point, no. a few days okay. of hours. But if I were to cut it down to just it's the okay. content, yeah, we'll have to see. I was thinking about any. beginning editing it. Um, oh. Like soon That's and hilarious. uploading it to My YouTube. So you guys can video. actually revisit past videos, uh, VODs and shit like that. All right, I'm here. That's why. Hey. Okay, nothing looks too different right now. Oh, just 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 keep walking. I've upgraded. Me and Kat have upgraded. Okay. I'll show you the town first, then I'll show you the library. Victus's tower, and then a low. Okay. Yeah, huh. me and Kat have been very busy with building. Yeah, they've been busy. God damn. You made Brandy a bar? Are they Brandy? Oh, that's not it. All the ghosts have homes now. Ghost is strangely silent, although they have appeared and with a clear form this time, as though a piece of them is missing. They do not acknowledge you. Brandy. Hey. That happened ever since the nightmare. <sighs> it's the same with the rest of the ghosts, unfortunately. Pay for but, uh, if work we go and up pay here? for. Every ghost is like this? Mm hmm. Where's Morella? Steel's got a blacksmith. Oh, uh, made her a house. Oh, sh I don't know if she's in right now, well. I heard she was also affected by the nightmare. But I don't know how. Muffin! Well, I mean, Muffin. her entire sense of reality kind of got... Uh... Damn. Yeah, because she thought that she could do the ritual, and the ritual failed and crushed right in front of her. Oh, dear. Yeah. I made a cute little area. Little picnic area. This is oh, Morella's this house, or is this yours, Ellie? No, that's Morella's. That's Morella's. I think it's still empty. Why uh, has she Damn. not moved in yet? Have we not seen her? Mm, no, I haven't seen her at all. I wasn't there when the ritual happened, so I didn't see exactly what hope she... hope she isn't gone. Last... I hope so. Last She's... time she no, did come. I can't get around this way. <laughs> it's just like I will figure out a way. I found a way. But the kid. The kid's still here. The kid's not okay. Mm, yeah. None of them are okay. Um. Victus didn't change, I'm guessing. 
No, Victus well, and Toto are fine. We didn't touch your house. It's the yeah. same. Yeah, not okay. Um, Victus is a special Wait, Toto, case. Oh no, Toto's. Yeah, Victus Toto's not okay. Right it now. even affected the dog. Well, he was scared, but it didn't seem like it was affected Toto the way that um it affected the other ghosts. This is my house. Looks nice. Thank you. Not much, but... You know. It's nice. It's home. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of time with trees. They are pretty and remind me of my own Shit, home. I need a workspace. Mm -hmm. I have work I need to do. Now that I'm back, I can access my resources again and get to work on that. Do you want to see Scythe? Oh, great. Hmm? Sure. Scythe out by a field? Mm-hmm. Okay. How okay. do I not trample the crops? Just oh, like there. that. <laughs> Howdy, Scythe. Yep. Just like the others. Ah. <sighs> Excellent. Well, any other developments I should know about? I'm sorry well, that I you guys put it. that much work into this place, only for us to take three steps back. I'll try to remedy it, but I think I will need Morales' help, so I need to find her. Yeah, it really sucks what's happened to the ghost. Yeah. Well, at least someone cares. You alright, Cut? I'll be fine. I've done enough talking. But hmm. these lesser spirits are naturally affected by the dangers of thine mistake. Okay, the sand's eyes back. Victy boy. I see. Did you truly believe you could flee from thine problems without consequence? Eyes bright. Now these innocent little useless ghosts must suffer. Unfortunate. It's reminiscent of yours, Cam. Uh, Useless. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. No. <laughs> Not similar. Look up. Huh. Mm. Interesting. Do you want to see that statue I was talking about later? Sure. Yeah, we could do that after here. Do you want to see the archives? Did something change? Well, there was that one secret area... That Ovik and I found. Okay. Uh, Ellie, do you want to unlock the archives? Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can open them yeah, myself. I can oh. You forget, I'm the one that put the door down yeah, here in I the first place. It. I didn't mean it. I, I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, uh, warning, you have to go down this way. Um, it's kind of... Oh, these creatures haven't cleared right out. Here. Yeah, like, I can get through that, Cam. Okay. Yeah, no, those creatures won't really die. Of course, I forgot to grab my focus pouch out. <sighs> Excellent. But yeah. Get in. Oh. This is what we found. I don't know. Did I keys? The books? Oh. We can't find the keys. I think Ovek took the fucking books. <sighs> I'll talk to him about that. Yeah, hmm. also, it's like a book regarding some artifact things in regarding Callum. Hmm. Also, he failed to acknowledge- I forgot this was under here. Yeah, this is under here, too. Hi. Oh. Oh? It does nothing. Yeah. I'm lagging. It does absolutely nothing. What happens if you I'm hit it? <laughs> we don't know. There, you hit it. <laughs> it's just solid. You gave it a one-two smack -a Hmm. Yeah, um, oh. what I can quickly climb I up. Induce with the, it with magic. Yeah, we never know. And my hand hurty now. <laughs> Your hand hurty? Okay. And then, of course, the accidental thing that um, we weren't supposed to find, but uh, we accidentally did. What's up? Uh, your, your area, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Stay out. Yeah. What'd you do to we my are... door? I didn't do anything. I gave you the key for it, remember? Right, right. And whenever we did leave, Ovek wanted to leave everything open, I made sure to at least lock up, like, Lily's and Ovek's area. Oh so no, I went back down there and I 
locked, locked everything, everything and then ah! I proceeded to puke. But we're gonna okay. ignore that. Hex, you want a basic summary of the books? I'll catch myself up later, Flynn. It's okay. Yeah, it's like, I didn't get to read the book, so if I kind of took them. I don't know if it's still on him or not. Good. Oh, and there's <sighs> books back here. Hmm. Hmm. Collection? Yeah, I don't know what collection is. But then there's also Ellie's Cat, books. was that what you were writing? The cat is silent. To come back here sometime, chat. Mm -hmm. Person came into room, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> um, was the collection the one you were doing? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's Cat's book. Mm -hmm. Add that to the shelves. Now I'll go back and yeah, get my other Yeah, this has had a bit of upgrade, too. Yeah. At the roof. And the walls. Things changed. Oh, and you're right, oh, it's very much prettier. Oh, by chance informing me that the books uh, that, were, that were under, uh, that were in there were placed uh, where um, you put the um, Edict Sword, Ellie. In, in. in that vault? They were put in the Flux Vault? I guess I'll put them in the Flux Vault. Huh. Why the fuck did he put him in the books vault? I don't know. Hmm. Guess you couldn't find know. anywhere I else know, to but... put it. I guess. Though yeah. I do want to have a conversation with him. And until he sorts out his whole sword thing. I, I, I know it's not his fault, but I'd prefer him not to be in this town. Considering the spirits. Yeah. And I would prefer... Preferred if most of Vanguard stays out of here, especially the people that caused this. Mm -hmm. Might impede mm -hmm. my work on trying to help these ghosts recover. I'm sure once I get them back to normal, it should be fine, but until then, it could be dangerous. Yeah. On the bright side, they all have a form now, which is good. Yeah, that's, that's, it is that's good. Upgrade. Like I said, two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, hold on. I want I'm to sure see I can overcome Victor's this obstacle. Because he wasn't there yesterday. Hmm. If this is not back, I have discovered this. Well, ah. I tried. Yeah. Trying to get answers about what he did to Ellie's soul, and no, he just disappears. Wait, he left? Like, left the entire city? We haven't seen him. He's not around at all. I don't know where he's gone. So him like, this and is the Morella. second time Who we've else is the unaccounted tower. for? I think... All the other ghosts are accounted for. And people in general? You're not missing any members of Vanguard or Blood Oath. Tabby's still around. Blank's gone. That makes no, three. But... No, was yep. still unconscious. No, it's still unconscious. Tabby, last time I checked, was in the uh, magic tower. Um, uh, Sub's in his house, I believe. And blank. Yes, Sub's in his house, I think. Yeah, Blank was in the room for a bit, but then disappeared. I'm just Blank, Merle, and Victus. I'm just gonna guess Blank just needed some time to process everything that happened, honestly. I don't blame her. The nightmare was awful. It was. I'm kind of mad at myself for it still. So. Yeah, now you're gonna pay your dues and pay them in full, and everyone around you will have to as well, including me. It's okay. I've learned to not mind it, at least for the time being. I'm sure it'll mm -hmm. come back eventually where I'm gonna get sick of everyone's problems being mine again, but for now it's all of our problems. We'll share them, I guess. Regardless. If you need help with anything, just let me know. I'm just gonna oh. sit in my empty ass house, try to pull all my stuff together again. I really need a proper workspace if I wanted to. I want to accomplish. I have no idea where I'd find one. Do you want us to build you one? I don't want you to break your back over it. 
can't break my back. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah, you do regenerate it. Well, I guess since you're back, you're gonna. I'm guessing you might come to Sam's trial. Yeah, I can make it. Okay. It's the fourth. Great. <sighs> I've missed this spot. I'll see you all around. I'll stay here for the time being. Okay. Tomorrow I'll show you that one area. Because mm -hmm. by then you should have your sword back. Alrighty. You have fun. Mm -hmm. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Will do. That's it for this escapade shot. Thank you for up for the stream. Thank you to all who followed. And thank you guys for your continued support with Mythos SMP. You do the commands, exclamation point Mythos or exclamation point Mythos Discord. You can find various ways to connect with us through Twitter and Discord. Um... Be sure to check out and support our other creators. We all love you all. We all appreciate every single one of you. Every single time you show up to a stream, all of us get really happy. Thank you guys so much. Truly. For everything that you do. I hope Mythos only continues to grow. That is my dying aspiration. So, take care everyone. I hope you all have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Take care.